watch me first and the last one do this after. In the moment, yeah. Hold that in hand like so. I'm going to get to rub your hands together and start in at the fire. Then I'm going to get to interlock your fingers nice and tight and try to get to crush your piece of cloth. Then I'm going to get to bend your elbows like you make a desk with your breath. Maybe it's Sunday after all. <laughs> then I'm going to get to stick up your index fingers like so, your pointy fingers. I'm going to ask you to imagine the pretend make the lid that there are magnets on the inside of your index fingers and they're pulling them together until they touch. I'll, count, I'll go from one to three. If I count reach is three, you'll open up your fingers an inch. You'll look at your fingers, the gap in between, no else. I'll flick my fingers and you're going to allow your fingers to come together like two powerful magnets. Watch it, don't fight it. You ready? Exactly. Let me have skin like you're trying to start a fire. Interlock your fingers nice and tight. Bend your elbows. Stick up your index finger. From now on, just look at your fingers. Lean up. In a moment, I'll pass it one to three. I'll point to open your big edge. I'll flick my fingers and allow your fingers to come together like two powerful hands. Watch it. Don't fight it. One, two, three. Open up those fingers. Pinch. Look at the gap in between. Allow those fingers to come all the way together. They say keep pushing together now as you watch this. Stay in this experience. Keep feeling those fingers pushing in. Almost like this in metaphysical thought. Pushing those fingers in tighter and tighter. Very good. I'm very curious at the same time. And now just imagine that it's stuck like that's the glue. And that glue just temporarily stops. Sticks. Stop. Sticks. You know what you're trying to do that way. Go ahead and try and stick your fingers tight. You cannot. Good. So open your eyes. Relax your hands down. What did you do inside your head? Make sure you get the stuff. Open your eyes. What did you concentrate on? Do you imagine that it's going to be a Do you imagine More back. Yeah, so you get a Ah, you can see. You already know your things are stuck. You already know how to move them. Would you like a different experience? What I want you to do is lift out your hands like so. Put your right palm up. Close your eyes. And now just imagine, pretend or make believe. I'm putting a bucket of water on this hand. So this hand, this arm starts to get heavier, heavier, heavier. It starts to get weighed down. Heavier, heavier, heavier. And then there's going to be two buckets of water on this hand as it starts to get even heavier, even heavier, even heavier. Getting pulled down by some imaginary force. Heavier. Heavier and heavier. And while that hand keeps to go down, it's heavier. This hand starts to go up higher. Because imagine I'm a tie-in. Imagine you tend or make believe. I'm tying 5,000 helium balloons. They're in the sky. It's lifting this arm and this wrist up higher and higher and higher. That's right. Higher and higher high all the way up in the air and as this hand starts to get higher and higher as you imagine you pretend you make believe that there's now even more balloons lifting that arm up on this hand now i've got three buckets of water so now this arm i'm touching now gets In this experience of this hand being light and light and light like a feather, it's almost as if there's a bunch of cushions, a bunch of clouds underneath this arm, and it's lifting it higher and higher in the air. Keep your hands where they are. Open your eyes. Did you do that consciously? Allow it to happen. Uh, probably a little bit more. Why would you do that when I ask you to just do it unconsciously? I think because I was imagining the rockets. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, you can imagine in your mind if I ask you to do this, you deliberately just do this. Oh, no, no, no. That's but I just felt about. like the heavy yeah. 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 That's good. Like, yeah. But yeah. I, was, I was actually trying to push it next to heavy. Oh, why would you do that? Because of course I don't feel like you didn't want to do a lot of buckets. So what other areas are in your life that you're pushing against? Sorry, say that again. What other areas are there in your life that you're pushing against? Maybe there's something to learn from today. That's if you didn't push. Because if you grab my arm, right? Actually, I'm going to get you to grab my arm. 